today we are going to go through Monday's strength workout. You guys have been working hard for the past three weeks, so we are going to take Monday as a deload day. We're going to be lightening up some of the exercises that you've been working on, and we're going to be increasing some of the reps so that we can condition our body and our mind for our block to come. So to start you out with your ring of fire, we are going to be starting with an upper ab brace and alternating toe taps, bringing one hand to the opposite foot. Next up on our list is going to be a bicycle crunch. So hands behind the head, bringing one elbow into the knee as close as possible. And then last up, we're gonna flip around and we're going to be doing a Spider-Man, bringing your knee in to the elbow. So in lightening up our reps and increasing volume, we are going to be doing 50 reps of everything. That's five O. Um, moving into your strength work, you are going to need a bench or a chair. You will also need a set of medium to light size dumbbells. And I recommend that you have something that you can keep a good tally on. It could be five pencils or five marbles or five of something that you can move over to one side or move over to the other. If we're counting in tens or 25s, just so that you can keep track of your reps, depending on what move you're doing. So we are going to be moving into our strength work. So we have one exercise that we're gonna focus on for our 50 reps. Once you get through your 50 reps, we'll rest a little bit, and then we'll all move into our next move. So to start you out, we are going to begin with a squat, picking up your dumbbells. You can either have your dumbbells on the outsides of your legs for your squat, squatting down and back up, or you can have them on the insides of your legs, squatting down and back up. Whichever one feels most comfortable for your hips, because everybody's anatomy is a little bit different, I want you to be as comfortable as possible, at least joint-wise, for your 50 reps. Once we get through 50 reps, we are going to move into our next move, which is going to be the push-up. We have a couple different variations of push-up here that we've been working on over the past three weeks. You can come up to your toes, drop down to your knees, or move it over to your bench that you have here for a angle, making things a little bit easier or challenging yourself so that you can get through all 50 reps smoothly while also feeling a little bit pushed. Next up, we are going to go into a rear delt fly. So if your weights are on the lighter side, I would pick up your weights. And if your medium sized dumbbells are there only, I want you to just use your arms. So with a weight, we're gonna to get to 50, or if you have only super heavy weights for 50 reps on hand, we're gonna do just the arms. If you squeeze your shoulder blades enough at the top and you keep your arms straight, they're gonna be plenty heavy for 50 reps to feel like a challenge. Moving into our next set after 50 reps of our rear delt fly, we've got a bicep curl. We're gonna do the same one we've been working on with the ends pressed together. Your biceps are already conditioned for lots of reps there. So we're gonna get through 50 reps as smoothly as possible. You can take rest whenever you need to, but we are all gonna to get to 50 in the end. Next move is gonna be a tricep dip, holding onto our bench, feet are extended forward, go to the range that your shoulder feels most comfortable at, and your triceps feel most challenged with, and we're gonna to get to 50 reps. This can be sets of 10, 25, or one set of 50. It's up to you and how you wanna push your body and what it can do. All right, our last two moves are going to be a calf raise with both of our dumbbells and both of our legs. 50 reps, nice and slow and controlled. We don't wanna rush through this one, really focusing on driving up high with our heels and uh, stretching them down all the way to the floor. And then last up, we're gonna do a shoulder press. So go ahead and take a seat. Bring the weights to the shoulders and we're gonna press up for 50 reps. Right, you're always welcome to come down, shake it out a little bit, rest as much as you need to, but then come right back into it. I want you to condition your mind a little bit to come past 10 to 15 reps because we're gonna be pushing it a little bit more in our next block. All right, you guys, there's going to be a 7 a.m. and an 8 a.m. class tomorrow morning for you live. And then of course, we'll have the recorded workout in case you can't make any of those time slots. Today is all about having our body recover and being pushed in a new way. And any extra time we have at the end, we're gonna spend stretching and really uh, loosening ourselves up for the week. All right, I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning and you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.